What's going on guys? Comes here back at again with another MLB The Show 18 damn nasty video and today man I want to talk about something that's been frustrating me something that we've been talking about in streams recently and stuff that I just heard uh, In general like on Twitter on reddit on everything above all and that's the team epics man Of course, I was super super excited as many of you were and for good reason too we thought the team epics were going to be really, really cool, going to have a bunch of good rewards, and on top of that, they really shouldn't be too hard to get, but check, check, and check, we were wrong on all three, at least in my opinion, and from a lot of other people that I have been hearing as well. So, let's go into the programs, go look at a team epic, let's go, uh, uh let's go my Astros, man, so... Team Epics, right? They give you a free card at the start, which I do like. You know, it's a bronze Jose Altuve. I'm not going to use him for anything except for the missions. But, you know, a free card is a free card. It's not... It's it's good. I am glad that they did that. Uh, here's what you had to do. You had to get some stats with Altuve. Then there's Hardware First Baseman, All-Star Starting Pitcher. And then you end up getting this uh, 84 Rookie Hunter Pence, which we'll get to the rewards in a second. Let's just look at the, let's look at that criteria, right? So, the easy stuff, you have a division, win, veteran, or higher uh, against the Rangers, and then a uh, Diamondbacks on rookie. Uh, those are pretty easy, you can get them done in two games, about an hour. Not too long, nothing too crazy about that. Then we get into the team exchanges, you know, you're gonna have to spend some stubs on these. And uh, especially for the Astros, I was looking at the Rays and that's cheaper um, because, well, let's just look at the Rays. If you go ahead and look at the team exchanges, you have bronzes which go for a lot less. And whenever you do exchanges, guys, do not put golds, do not put silvers, please do not put diamonds, put bronzes in. They're the cheapest, you can get a lot of them, and it goes the fastest, that works for pretty much everything. I don't know for sure for players, but as far as like bobbleheads and autographs go, Always stick with the lowest tiers, but in this case the lowest tier that we have is gold So let's go over to souvenirs. I already have a feeling of how much it's gonna be because uh, of course That stub video that I made which you guys should go ahead and check out if you have not it is on the channel One of my most recent uploads, but that's gonna be about 340 a pop uh, For each single baseball you need that gives 385 X ex uh, exchange points out of 1500 so that's gonna be about four or five that you're gonna need which isn't a crazy amount of stubs but it, it's like 2500 or something like that and then go to bobbleheads we'll call that another 2500 nothing crazy as far as this goes i don't know how much it's gonna be and of course it depends based on like teams for example the astros are really really expensive like uh, of course they won't let you go to the market which i hate that that's not a thing but uh, Astros are pretty expensive, so that's gonna cost you probably somewhere between 10 to 15 K for each and every single team. Now, obviously, most people, most common, regular, average people aren't doing every single team epic. Why? Uh, because they don't have the time for one, which I'll get into in a second, and two, the rewards. I mean, uh, the worst one by far, Matt Garza. 82 Matt Garza. Who in the right mind? Wants to grind for a Matt Garza, 82. I wouldn't spend 15K on this alone. That alone do all the grinding that you have to do. Nobody wants this card. I don't get why this is even a team epic. The rewards are so uh, so underwhelming. Yeah, there is a couple good ones. Like this 88 Cueto, I'm sure he's pretty good. Uh, 85 Cargo, I used him last year. <laughs> he was very good, um, but there's a few. This Will Clark. It doesn't have much power, which you kind of need, but you get the point. There's a couple good ones, such as uh, the Rangers. You get this Mike Napoli. That's a good reward. I would want to get this card. Or the Twins, you get uh, Liriano. Those are two good rewards, but for all the criteria, all the stuff that you have to go ahead and do, even those, I don't think it's even worth it, let alone something like an 82 Matt Garza. So let's, let's switch over to the Cubs now. You need 200 innings pitched with Chicago Cubs pitchers. 200. If you guys don't know the calculations, I'll do them for you. So, with pitchers. So, at max, you can get 9 a game. If you guys remember in 16, you had those embody missions where you had to do innings with teams. You can have 9 players that count for 81 innings a game. You're getting max 9 in doing this. 
200 divided by 9 is 22 entire 9 inning ball games. Actually 23 because it's 22.222 repeated. 23 games. Okay, let's take uh, 23 times 30. Let's say each computer game takes 30 minutes. You're spending 690 hours. Let's divide that by 6, 60 minutes. That's, that's 12 hours. That's 12 hours of grinding for an 82 Matthew Bartholomew Garza. 12 hours, half a day of your life to get Garza. Are you serious? Not to mention, yeah, 15K. Oh, and yeah, you get a gold card. You get a silver card. Uh, what? That is ridiculous. I don't know how this happened. Um, yeah, I'm sure some of them, like, if you really want this Liriano, truthfully, I will but I'm not gonna sit here for 12 hours just to do that, spend 15k of stubs to get an 87 Garza that I'm not gonna use in a month and a half, because my team's already gonna be good enough to the point where I'm not gonna use this card anymore. 12 hours of your life for each, every single Team Epic, you know what? Let's, let's just do it 12 times 30. Nah, okay, okay. 12 times 30, misclicked. 360 hours. Divide that by 24. <laughs> 15 days. 15 days. Of course, are you going to do all of them? No. I hope you don't. Because you would spend 15 days of your life playing all the required games to go ahead and get every single team epic. 12 hours per team, that's ridiculous. Especially considering I I really don't think any of these rewards are honestly worth it. None of them. There are some good ones like, yeah, there's Giambi, it might be cool, or this Price. Uh, big Rays fan, I, I love a 86 David Price. Even if I, uh, another 83 Aaron Hill. And there's a lot of them like, okay, there's a Luis Aprasio. He won't hit the ball out of the infield. Neither will Omar Vizquel. Even though I really want this card, he can't hit the ball out of the infield with the hitting currently. And you're gonna spend 12 hours of your life trying to get that card, man. It's honestly ridiculous. Uh, there's To me, there's an easy fix. Lower the grinding or, hell, if you wanna, if you wanna make it a fourth of the grinding, I would gladly pay instead of 50, I gladly pay 25k and 4 hours of grinding for a team epic. Even though these aren't the best, it's better than spending 12 hours. I had people in my streams complaining about how long it took. I never really realized exactly how much it took. Cause the hitting you're gonna get that done pretty quick. The pitching is gonna take you a long time. Not to mention, I mean, you have saves. Strikeouts are hard to get in the game. You should be able to get 160 and 200 innings though, but that's ridiculous, man. Way too much time. The stubs isn't bad. Uh, 10K isn't horrible, but uh, to, to even mix that in, and then on top of it, the rewards aren't even that good. Man, <sighs> Team Epics, huge, huge disappointment. There's a lot of stuff they could do to change it. This year, I don't think they'll change it, but Keep in mind, please, next year, if you're going to put Team Epics into the game in Diamond Dynasty, MLB The Show 19, please, please fix this. Do not have it like this. I'd rather collect the whole team. I honestly would. Last year, at least they didn't take so long. Uh, long to complete, man. Team Epics, really big disappointment. And I didn't really realize how much of a disappointment it truly was until a couple of days ago. Really hope they can fix it, really hope they can do something to change it. Will they list you? Probably not, but please, please, for further installments of the game, please make it so you don't have to sit here for 12 hours to go ahead and get an 82 Matthew Garza. Thank you, SDS. If you guys agree with anything that I said, and if you guys have some, uh, some ideas, some things that you think uh, could work for Team Epics in the future, let me know down below in the comments. I would love to hear your thoughts and opinions on how they could go ahead and make the Team Epic experience a lot better. But, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you leave a like down below, and I'll see you guys later. Gomes out. Love is love, and hate is hate. To die is an awesome adventure, and I can hardly wait. 
earth is a prison, I need a great escape You know I'm in my zone when I'm up in outer space You know I'm in my zone when I'm up in outer space You know I'm in my zone when I'm up in outer space You know I'm in my zone, you know I'm in my zone I took a bite of the glory, I tell you how it tastes Damn, you why your girlfriend so bad Maybe cause I never settle like a nomad Maybe cause I get him open as he toe straps Tell boy Jessica said he want his flow back Oh yeah, you know I got the future when she throw back Ball so hard, I need two sports Bojacks Beating mics up like I'm Joe Jackson Swear I'm reading through these dudes like closed captions All I need is one reason Don't believe in off season And I be here all weekend I should be number one, man, that's what we all think Pray your plans don't interfere with ours And love is love And hate is hate To die is an awesome adventure And I can hardly wait Earth is a prison, I need a great escape You know I'm in my zone when I'm up in outer space You know I'm in my zone when I'm up in outer space You know I'm in my zone when I'm up in outer space You know I'm in my zone, you know I'm in my zone I took a bite of the glory, I tell you how it tastes This is black hoodie rap Hat slow and solar on Just a star trying to get my supernova on Tell me something, have you ever felt overgrown? Just a matter of time for the throne, get overthrown Love is love, it's no love for liars You dudes one last, I throw you into the fire Make a second round and kill off all the survivors Snatch your soul out of your true religion designer They say they want that real back, they fiending for it This Martin, this Margiela, no Gina for it Michelangelo, 16 of the 16 A little kid from a small town with big dreams uh, My role model's Napoleon, descendant of the kings My genes is Ethiopian uh, Inhale my opium, gang is kinda rise So never be none close to him And love is love, and hate is hate To die is an awesome adventure and I can hardly wait Earth is a prison, I need a great escape You know I'm in my zone when I'm up in outer space You know I'm in my zone when I'm up in outer space You know I'm in my zone when I'm up in outer space You know I'm in my zone, you know I'm in my zone I took a bite of the glory, I tell you how it tastes